Road, yeah, back again, and today, I'm dragging your finances back down to non-league, which translates to, we're going back to non-league, I've been to Barcelona, we went to West Ham in the Premier League, I've given you some bigger clubs, or in West Ham's case, massive, but guess what, we're going back to the roots of football, I know some of you don't like it, but some of you do, I've got to cater to everyone's needs, you go to the big clubs, they say go non-league, you go non-league, they say go to the big clubs, like most creators, their audience is split, I think one thing we can all agree on is, uh, yeah, you need some new trainers, Smith, I'm just thinking of holding out till next year, new year, new me, new trainers, anyway, before we crack on with this video, did you see last time around? United. If you didn't see that one, go and check it out. It's in the playlist. Um, link is in the description below for that, by the way. Now, I'm hungry, and whilst I look to deliver this video to you on time, UPS next to me are looking to deliver household items such as an ironing board for Keith in Maidstone. Kelly and Billa Ricky's got some Christmas themed coasters on the way, and Peter's ordered a bread making kit, which is on its way to name Stansted. Wait, and this is the third time I've tried to go here. If this doesn't work out tonight, no more. You've had the chances. We tried it last season. There are crashes on the M11 that are causing a one hour and 19 minute delay. You are on the fastest route. You will arrive at 15. Oh. We haven't tried it this season too. Ah! That's it. Last chance, Stansted. Tonight is the night. So should we start again? Let's, let's try again. Name! Stansted FC. Founded 1902. They're currently in the Essex Senior League, where at the time record they sit third. Their opponents tonight, Clapton, way down in 18th. This particular fixture tonight isn't a league game, it's a Memorial Cup game. So form out the window? Possibly. They play their football out of Hargrave Park, which has a total capacity of two. 200 of which are seated, but absolutely, definitely not heated. Now, as I already mentioned, I am hungry. Considered stopping at the big M in the sky, but obviously I'd go through a drive through instead. And you always pull up to those drive throughs and you think, usual? Or what is the usual? In fact, if you have got a usual McDonald's order, let me know in the comments below. Used to be a real treat for me back in the day. Used to just have a Happy Meal, I guess. Times changed. I got a job, didn't I? Best paper boy from Grays to West Minnesota. And I seem to remember firmly being on the chicken nuggets. Just chicken nuggets. Give me six chicken nuggets, please. Side note, I could demolish a box of 20 on my own if I wanted. I would. I can. I have. I also went through that weird plain ham burger stage. Actually really nice, but yeah, that was when I was a bit sheltered. But right back to my usual McDonald's orders, I remember getting another job. Around the age of 17, men's retail, lunch break, sat there with a Big Mac, didn't I? I thought I was a big man. And I still do grab a Big Mac, but I also grab some chicken nuggets on the side. Why not chuck in those like cheese milk dippers? They come in different shapes. Sometimes they're circles, sometimes they're long. Go back to the Big Mac, Big Mac meal by the way. We'll, we'll have a chocolate milkshake, but get a bottle of water as well. Grab a chicken sandwich too, just in case I want to do the McDank with the Big Mac and the uh, chicken sandwich. Yeah, that, that's also an option. You know what? I do love a double cheeseburger, so uh, that too, please. What do you mean I've got to pay for sauce now? Are you taking a piss? Ah, McDonald's. I've missed the exit anyway, so I can't be getting that. So as I rock up to somewhere, I feel like I haven't been for an eternity. Fingers crossed for some form of food tonight, but in the distance there, we've been given the green light. As we approach, of course, it is the width restriction that nobody wants to go through, apart from myself and the people in front and the other people that are waiting on the other side. It's been a while, and once we go through that, I think it's time for... It's the top comments of the week. First up, great banter from Harvey here. It literally copied, pasted, and replaced Barcelona with West Ham, following one of the previous comments of the week. I wonder if we can keep up this trend. Who knows? One of the best names out there is Wimbledon. I, I, I love it. Very punny. Anyway, he says, I uh, think I can say for thousands of us that you make our Monday with On The Road. Best YouTube channel. Much appreciated, Dan. I feel like the comments have been very, very, very nice recently. They're the ones that are getting the likes, but don't feel like you have to be nice. That's not cute to be nasty, though, people. So, uh, go on, you do you. But the top, top, top comment of the week was uh, from the Fookman. Uh, is that Smith? What a lad. Yeah, this comes after we were spotted at West Ham. I still think it's mad how we get stopped and spotted and have chats with people that uh, we've never even met before. Doesn't happen anywhere, but if we go to the football, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> with restriction that nobody wants to go through is done. I've just pulled into the complex where the bins are being loaded. Oh, hang on. Who's that? Hola, que es que sí, uh, hello. Starting route to Stansted FC. Lego. Big bad boy M25 vibes right now as we head towards our destination for tonight, which is, of course, Stansted. As we approach four minutes in this one, a lot of you are probably thinking there's been a severe lack of plane puns. For those that don't know, Stansted is more famous for its airport than it is its football team. Listen, I'm sure I'll fly through the puns at some point. Right about now, we're checking into the M11. Signpost is Stansted. Let's just follow that the whole way. Unless, of course, Satis Navia says otherwise. And very quickly, he did. He took us down a very, very dark road, which eventually led to Stansted... Man to Hang on a minute. It's Stansted Mount Fitchit, as you were. And in Stansted Mount Fitchit, there's a, there's a car turning left into this place here, which is the ground, but uh, I've just noticed that the car park is absolutely 100% full. So I'm going to spin around in this petroleum service station. And on exit in said petroleum service station, we're giving the green light. We go back past where we're meant to be. There's a car park full sign outside, stopping us from going in there. So we're just going to park on the left up here somewhere. And that outside is just outside Tesco Express. It's like Tesco, but quicker. Not that you can really see it, but on the foot, yet yeah, back again. Looks like Charlie's left his torch on. And talking about lights, enough for a runway landing strip here. If you're not watching this around the time of release, just know we're around the corner from Christmas. Near 
addition to a giant snowman, we've got a Santa. And all I want for Christmas is well, 10,000 likes on this video, please. Do it for Christmas, otherwise all you're going to get is a lump of coal. As we get nearer to the ground, it's ladies' night at the tennis. And a few more steps. Oh, hello, mate. How you been? We soon reached the car park full sign, which can only mean one thing. We're going to stay at their football club. Whereas bargains tonight, £7 to get in, please. It's very simple. Unfortunately, no click, 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 click. But we will still save. Boop, boop. This, my friends, is it. Do you know what worries me most? I don't smell food. I just smell filled. Yeah, it's very fieldy here. A lot of grass. A lot of grass. Well, hopefully the Essex Senior League can deliver an absolute classic tonight. We did find a hut and it did have some food on it. Hot food though? Well, we've got hot drinks, tea, coffee, hot chocolate. We've got biscuits, crisps and chocolate bars. Can, sure thing. Soup, fruit shoots. Oh, each Charlie just confirmed he got £3 change after giving them a tenner to get in. With the £3, I can actually get a hot sausage roll, a hot chocolate and a packet of crisps or a chocolate bar. Cheap choices. You've got to love it. I'm just to confirm. <laughs> So we're beating the queue to the front. I've my the fantastic arrangement of crisps on the wall, which eventually results in spending £2.50 on a hot chocolate and a sausage roll. Moments later, we grabbed a seat to eat. I'll let you know that sausage roll went down at the end of the video. Here's Charlie's fault. For £1.50. I mean, Bristol Rovers who? Shut up, you ain't a qualified chef. Anyway, as I look out to the field, I spot a number two. Another number two. That's a Clapton player, by the way. As he looks to catch up with his coach, Gaffer, or Dave. Wants to know if there's any more sock tape in the Sports Direct bag. Sorry, mate, one of the other lads took the sock tape. Okay. On the other half of the pitch, we've got Stansted, home side for tonight, the reason we're visiting. I have to say, they look a tad more organised than their opponents. Let's see if that makes a difference at the end of the night. This is John who's been in and out of this changing room all night, fetching various bits of football and equipment. Here he is going back out on the pitch with uh, some form of bibs, training bibs, I think. Hello, John. Yo, yeah, mate, how are you doing? He could probably help himself by carrying a couple of bits, but he decides to just do one bit at a time. Oh, there's Steve. A couple of non league hot chocks are going to be warm for weeks. <laughs> John's a little bit pissed off. He's been told to get a pump now. John does everything around here and he's starting to get on his nerves. Just spotted a beer. Doesn't interest me, but it does interest Charlie. Let's go and get a beer. Before that, we spot John taking the pump back over to the other side of the pitch. Yeah, I suppose you want to pump up all the balls as well. You want to get the balls, bring them over and pump them up. Of course you do. Meanwhile, outside of the ground, we the clubhouse. It serves said beer and Charlie's happy. Back in the ground, we spot a pile of crap. Every non league ground needs a pile of crap. The lineups are up. Number seven for Stansted is actually a Palmer's FC player. Michael Mignot. You'll hate me for saying that wrong, but we call him Midge. We'll certainly be keeping an eye on him for tonight. We've arrived at some form of, I'm not too sure, a cover of some sort. We've worked really well as a bike shed if there was places to put your bikes. But what I'm seeing most of is basically old stickers. It's a sticker graveyard. And just outside, under this massive floodlight, we scrolled down and a sticker from our opponents for tonight. It's the Clapton Ultras. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as nice as this non league hot chocolate was, it hasn't kept me warm for weeks. I don't understand. And because of that, I'm actually questioning my very existence. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit upset right now. It's just occurred to me that we're standing by the official's entrance and the ref just looking up the room there. I could go in there because I saw the code. It's 6728. On the right, we've got fish and chips brought into the ground. Domino's pizza as well. That seems to be the plan for most visitors here. Hot sausage rolls is just not enough. Anyway, Clapton are out and a severe lack of energy. Look, I'm just walking about. Some jogging from Stansted here. I, I think if I was a betting man, body language tells us the winner. Yeah, lads, 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 lads. Uh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. I'm just thinking if we just like huddle, Gaff will think we're actually talking about something, but we're not. But I do want to say one thing. Jay, who's that thing you were talking to the other night? She was Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where you pause the video and say, Smith, you need some new trainers. Dance the huddle now. It seems much more compact. Suffocating, if anything. Well, lads, you're normal one tonight. 3 5 2. We're not there about. We're beating them before. Just get the result and go through to the next round. Ash. Come on, man. I do this every time. Yeah, and we talk about this every time. Can you just tie your shoelaces up before you come out? Yeah, but it's my little ritual. I come out with my shoelaces undone and then I can do them up and then I can get on with the game. Yeah, but it don't make sense, Ash. If you just come out with your shoelaces done up, you won't have to do it when you come out. Yeah, but you know what a ritual is. This is mine, so just, just leave it, yeah? What's going on here then? Oh, Charlie's stuck the sticker in sticker graveyard. That's not going to last long. If you want to grab some stickers too, spread the word and support the channel in the process, you can go to yetbackagain.com. I swear this was meant to be a quarter weight kickoff. Oh well, recently, non league, we've been treated to very, very early goals. And in what felt like the first minute. Yay! Yay! Clapton, get battered. Everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. Banter. Well, one new to Stansted, let's walk. We're quickly greeted by, well, a chip alata. Beyond the goal, just a load of greenery, trees, and some bits. I feel like this is Stansted FC's garden. As we continue our walk, it looks like an advertisement board has fallen down. It's currently being used as a pathway. I was worried a business is paying for that, but no, this is old. Long gone. I feel like you only find these in the summer. This one, however, stood the test of time. <laughs> Back on the pitch, my camera's below me with mid shoots. <laughs> 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 I forget getting excited about Stans again. Two new up. Charlie's taking the favourite of football to football. Here's Clapton's reply. Here we go. Wow. Take a touch. No ball boys at this ground. And is it not fair to say that any blonde haired goalkeeper will always be dubbed as Peter and or Casper Schmeichel? Much like that time I went to Potter's Bar versus East Farrick. Some may even argue that this geezer right here is also this geezer right here, but they're two completely different people. I can confirm there is more than one goalkeeper with blonde hair that wears a green top in non league. Let's keep walking. In fact, let's not. We got round to halfway and, um, well, it's blocked off. Back round we go. And back round we went. Here we are. Time for a slashes, ain't it? The gents. Charlie told me it was very interesting in there. No cubicles. No toilet, just um, well, nothing really, just a wall to piss up against. Oh, lovely. As I get back out, oh, midgey boy. 
Oi! Just another midge goal. Sorry, mate. That's 3 0 to the Palmers. I mean, it stands to. I haven't seen much from this lineup tonight, but I assume he's straight. Posture looks good. Let's just get him in the human ruler family because he's going to be as straight as a, well, ruler. And apparently, they only do this at non league. <laughs> Chatting to a friend of mine the other day who says Asian representation in the game of football is, well, low. Very low. So shout out to Ash Sadiq who's uh, actually bossed this game for me so far. And it seems like that silly ritual of his coming out with his shoelaces undone is actually working out. For what feels like the 10th time tonight, Charlie's off for a slash. He said because his toilet is so different, he's going to draw something on the wall for me. Back in the field, a swing and a miss. Oh my word. And Chaz returns with some artwork. It says Smith. He's actually very clever. Sell that as an NFT. Hopefully, second half. Obviously, I'm going to need another one at some stage. I'm going to do the old on the road. OTR. Moments later, I get my knee stuck in the railing. Oh. Then it's a corner to Stansted. Oh! As I find a flat ball, the ref's got something to say. So I'm hungry. Sausage rolls are sold out, so uh, let's go out and get some chips. I didn't get the name, but they recommended the chips, so uh, out of here and chuck it right. Just so you know, the car park is still full. It's back past centre. Did you pause the video and drop the like yet? You know the score, 10,000 likes. Thinking about my order, I might see if they've got chicken sausage. And Jesus, I've been here before, Churchill's. And I just spent £7.60 on some bits. A Savaloy, in fact, there's far too much paper for one sausage. And it wasn't just a sausage I got, I got some chips as well as we make our way back to Stairs the Football Club. It's good timing too. Just clocked on these chairs. I used to have them at school. These poor things have had their legs ripped off and they've been forced to sit here. Are they cheaper than the standard plastic football seats you see? Possibly. Non leg loopholes. Oh, John's back this time, water bottles and medical bag. Don't know if I mentioned it, but he does everything. Yeah, I do everything around here. We thought we had an early goal in the first half. Oh. Four nil. Charlie's just come back with some more artwork. Look at that. On the wall, yet back again. I'm sure people will look at that in two ways. It's either very disgusting, or it's actually making use of what we've been given here. That and Charlie's very talented with his paintbrush. I think they're like that. Anyway, chips are maybe first day. I've come back for a Dr. Pepper, but <sighs> we're back at the shelter and Charlie seems taller. Tell we continue as we bump into on the road viewer. It's Bradley. Hello. Hello. And Bradley's also made use of the back of his phone on the road sticker. Love it. Now, I have to say, this lot haven't really made too much noise tonight. You know, that's up to them. But my biggest question right now is, why is there a Brazil flag on the stands of the FC flag? Wrong answers in the comments only, please. Unfortunately, digital suspects are not a thing at Hargrave Park tonight, I'm afraid. We're talking basic AF. That's not stopped. I'm looking for a fifth. <laughs> Follow him in that guard just spotted a midge. Hello, mate. But then. <laughs> Very quiet. Where are those Clapton Ultras? Hey, Chess, did you know Clapton just scored? I literally, I, just, I did, honestly couldn't tell you. Anyway, I've just taken a throw of football to football and I've uh, put it on Instagram. You can follow me on there if you want. Plenty of you commented, including Finney, who says, put chicken, sausage, and Jesus in the bin. Mate, I've already done it. I get the feeling once upon a time that's building a tidy little ground here. Nice little subspecs there. Brick built, of course, but for the away side, just that. So many imperfections. I love it about non league. In fact, at this level, it just feels like Sunday League with a fence around it. But you ain't going to find this at Sunday League. Look at the girth on this floodlight. What they're lacking corner flag girth, they've certainly made up for it in floodlight girth. But that's time. <laughs> Right, we get the point, but John's off again. Look at him go. Multiple items this time with pump, medical bag, and tonight's Chinese. That was a favour for being so helpful. Cheers, boys. See you next week. So let's make our way over here. Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And as per usual, we start things off with atmosphere, don't we? And uh, tonight was dead as a door now. Half a star maximum for the odd jeer here and there and the cheers, but uh, other than that, just dead. Absolutely dead. Let's move on. Facilities. Um, I guess I kind of hinted, but this was just a big field with a fence around it. It didn't really have much character, much personality. And for the level we're at, we can't expect that either. But we've been to teams at this level and they have had better grounds. They had the very basics with a makeshift stand. A tea hut. And oh, they did have a clubhouse outside the ground. But overall, I'm going to go two stars for this one. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Very important, of course. And uh, it was very lack of, really. Luckily, they did just clinch it with uh, hot sausage rolls. If they didn't have that, we'd be talking about a much, much lower score. Hot sausage roll was nice. As Charlie said, much better than Bristol's award-winning ones. They weren't very big. And if I'm being honest, they might well have been put in the microwave at some point and wrapped in foil. And then they've just gone all soggy and stuff. But overall, they tasted okay. At the moment, we're at three stars. They did have Dr. Pepper. Not that I got to have it, but half a star bonus for having it available, at least. Which gives them a total score of three and a half stars. Finally, we're talking cost. Absolute bargain. In seven quid to get in, one pound fifty for a sausage roll, another quid for a non league hot chocolate in the ground, nine pound fifty spent. Can he argue with that? Which is why they're going to get the best possible score for cost. It's going to be five stars. Congratulations, Stansted. And if you check out the on the road table for season six, they sit in 11th with 11 points. Not bad going considering what they're boasting. So as we make our way back out onto the streets of Stansted, Mount Fitchett, I spot some more Christmas lights on the go. A warm glow. Big fan of that. It's cozy.co.uk forward slash washer electric bill like. I eventually get back to the car where unbelievably I didn't leave my keys inside. And we come back to this. It's um, going to take a while. One moment. 
that'll do and we are out of here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on the video we want to hit 10,000 likes for non-league if you're new to this channel and you want to see more there's a whole playlist you can check out the link in the description below don't forget to subscribe for more future videos when that'll be i don't know this whole covid thing game's getting postponed i'm, I'm not too sure so uh stick with me make sure you click that bell to be notified when a new video comes out and you know what this might well be the last video before christmas so have a very merry christmas and a happy new year my name is smith this has been on the road and i will see you in the next one I kind of fancy a chicken sausage now.